Oh, okay, we're live. Thursday's update happening right now. Instagram, Facebook. You're gonna get the number for Santa Clarita in San Fernando. And uh, well, let me finish here. Okay. And yes, super happy to be here. I'm blessed today. Can you believe? Number 32. Let's go live here in the business page too. And yes, I'm gonna be sharing with you the number for Santa Clarita and San Fernando. I'm gonna be sharing what's happening a little bit in the market. And the numbers, you know, I've been following this trend, the statistics. I already talked about the number for Antilo Valley last week. The inventory started to go up a little bit. And now the trend continues in Santa Clarita. Oh my goodness, just have a little accident there in the holder. I'm uh, right here, I'm back. I don't know why this is not holding. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> it scares me. <laughs> anyway, so let's talk about the numbers. On the video for YouTube, you're gonna see the charts showing exactly how much the properties are going up. And right now, the median sales price in San Fernando is $925,000. Compared to last year, 2020 is up 8%. And the number for Santa Clarita, the sales median price in Santa Clarita right now is $820,000. And that is a 22% increase from last year. But this is where it gets tricky. This is where the numbers matter right now. The inventory. If you see the inventory in San Fernando, the inventory didn't change much from last year, remains the same. San Fernando is still hot. San Fernando going up, the inventory is not growing, the market is still hot. But Santa Clarita, check it out, Santa Clarita even though went up 22%, the inventory went up 15% too. So if the inventory is coming up, this is the third month in Santa Clarita, the inventory is coming up. They have new 348 new listings in the month of August. That is 15% more new listings than last year. Still, the market is hot. Don't take me wrong. I'm not saying anything that the market is changing drastically, but it's a sign that I believe it will help eventually to see a better picture in probably the next three, six months. Because now, talking about summer, summertime is over. I don't know if you see in the calendar. I think it's September 21st or 22nd. Autumn starts. Or the 26th and summer is over and i don't know if you know when summer is on is when the real estate season is on okay so santa clarita san fernando numbers san fernando remains the same staying hot the inventory is not growing the median sales price is still high you need to to qualify or to be able to afford to live in san fernando valley i put a post on instagram and facebook and you need to make like $200,000 a year with 20% down. So all my friends in San Fernando, homeowners, congratulations, you made it. Santa Clarita is almost right there, the same thing. If you can afford a $4,000 mortgage payment a month, that is the place for you to be with 20% down. No problem, check it out. I'm on, the, on the YouTube chart right now, you can see a median sales price of 820, the way Santa Clarita is. Uh, the long amount will be 656 with a rate of 2.8%, 2.5. Uh, the mortgage payment will be $3,800. Actually, it's not that bad. I know somebody in Santa Clarita paying for rent $3,000 for a two-bedroom, two-bathroom condominium. So if you can afford $3,000 a month for the rent, I'm very sure you can afford $3,800 or $4,000 for your mortgage payment, right? Anyhow, those are the numbers. The market is still hot, but the market is changing, and summer is over. Now let's talk about what else is changing. Well, let me tell you what else is changing. The sentiment. Uh, I can tell you, I've been talking to a lot of people lately and everybody thinking that something huge is gonna happen because the market is still hot, especially with the sellers and the listing getting a lot of multiple offers. Uh, a lot of buyers are frustrated. I like waiting to see what's gonna happen. Even though I just got a call right now for a buyer who owns like a six property free and clear, and he's saying, Carlos, I'm gonna refi cash out all my properties and gonna put that money to invest in more real estate. I'm gonna build units. Yes, this is what he says. And I know personally quite few investors putting money on units and apartment to rent in Pan de Lancaster area. Yes, the market is 
is, is extremely hot right now. So you can see the charge on YouTube about the videos. I gotta go early. I have the first inspection for my ADU in the house. I gotta go, but I'm super happy and blessed to be here. I love you guys. You guys are amazing. Remember, no matter what the people say about you, I love you, okay? Um, that's it for today. I gotta go. Um, I was going to say something else, but I forgot. Maybe tomorrow. Remember tomorrow, Viernes, el cuerpo lo sabe. Uh, gracias por el support. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I need more help in my YouTube channel. I just uh, got 182 subscribers. It's very low. I know it's almost nothing, but I'm super thankful and grateful for those 182 that are always helping me out. And the goal, remember, is to go to 1,000 first and then 10,000, and then we can make a huge difference. And then I can help more people with anything regarding financing. Remember, if you know anybody who needs a loan to do a refi or to buy a house, I'm here to help. All right, guys, I gotta go. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Uh, I'm gonna post a video on YouTube, and you can see the charge for the median sales price in San Fernando and Santa Clarita, and you can see what's going on in the market. All right, guys, I gotta go. Peace out. Love you. By the way, Sebastian is having his first baseball game this Sunday. I'm scared myself because I don't think he's ready. But, well, let's make it happen. And Barbara is doing amazing with tennis. So, looking forward to see that playing again. All right, guys, gotta go.